The Kosovo state government says it has obtained the federal government's approval to generate 21 megawatts of electricity. But during an inspection of the power plant in Calabar, the state capital, the state governor, Ben Ayade, noted that uh, about 80% of the job has already been executed. He hinted that the state already has willing buyers and sellers agreements and is hopeful that electricity supply will improve in the state. We have received our certificate that Crossover State now has a license to generate and sell electricity. So the certificate is in our pocket. And so everything is said from the regulatory point of view. And of course, we have the final bit to do, means discussing with the distribution company to reach an agreement on our tariff system. And of course, you know how the system works. You have a willing buyer, willing seller agreement. And that's the option we are going for, which allows us to negotiate with the metropolis and the public to agree on what the selling regime will be so that ourselves and the public will have a healthy and balanced relationship, guaranteeing them steady power at a reasonable cost. And so in combination with what we are doing here, I have all my full optimism that on the 27th of May, Calabar Metropolis indeed will have 24 hours electricity supply from this 21 megawatts power plant. The progress of work is very fast. I just have the cooling system to fabricate and I have the external units installed. The radiators are already in place. So the aspect of mechanical completion that is required will take us about another three weeks. The installation team is flying in from the US and a team from Switzerland and a team from Poland. I have no doubt in my mind that uh, by 25th of May, we have a new electricity supply system.